Oh, I'm gonna put my phone on charge. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce off commentary, actually. <laughs> I've been on here a while. Also, what's up, stream? This is me, Musket, here to commentate this loser's quarters. Yeah, loser's quarters between Kind Florax. So, they've had some back and forth sets, so it should be a pretty good set. Ah, cool. so weird. Why does Kai's Twitter not come up when he's going to put his name? Whatever. It's KB Kaiser. Falco Red. Alright, it's good, cool. So, I'm on to, I guess, yeah, that's uh, striking to Dreamline, which is pretty standard between them. I mean, I assume Jack bans FD and. Actually, I wonder what he bans. Uh, maybe, Yo I guess Yoshi's. And Kai probably bans Fountain and Battlefield. So the thing about Jack, I mean, like, the thing about Florats' uh, Sheik is that it's the tech chasing is that great. At least like, pop like grab into repeated like grabs. So grabs from him are going to be a fair bit less threatening. I would say what Jack does well in relatively is well. I guess he mostly goes for stuff like up smash and dash attacks off down throws, which aren't optimal in the sense that you can definitely ASDI down uh, both of them actually. Falco, I believe, until something like 30. I want to say it's it's either I think it's like high 30s. Um, Falco can ASDI down and then tech in place uh, Sheik's up smash. So. Yeah, it's varying percents. I mean, I'm pretty sure every character can do it. It's varying percents depending on the character, but... So yeah, you should um, not be letting Sheik get away with... Um, 
doing something like, say, down throw and then up smash to punish something like the Tekken place. Um, you can definitely ASTI down it. Get some real... You, it, you may not be able to get a true confirm into something like Tekken Play Shine. Sheik might be able to shield beforehand, but it's a lot better than just getting popped up and, you know, dealing with Sheik's random auto combos. But yeah, that's kind of... Um, kind of running away away with this at the moment. Um, you know, it's ne <clears throat> things are definitely bounce back. I assume if... Actually, I wonder, if, I wonder where Jack will go if he loses. Probably found... Yeah, it's definitely... It's almost definitely going to be found. Mm, Kai's been side being a lot this tournament. Like... I, like the unintentional side Bs. I wonder what. I guess it's really. I mean, I'm, I assume he's trying to like laser, and it's just either laser or shine, and either he's slowing the input or his controllers messing up. Okay, so last time these two played, Kai was getting a lot of mileage out of doing. Early fadeaway aerial on shield, on like Jack's shield, and then baiting out a shield grab and hitting an F smash. But it seems like Jack's playing a bit more patient in shield this time around. But still, he goes for the shield grab on the um, after the uh, bear shine, and then gets hit by the second bear, which you know it'll happen. I believe. I'm, I don't know. Actually, maybe he was going for um, now to shield. But even so, I'm pretty sure um, if Alka goes for early aerial into, like aerial, well, early aerial out of shine, it's safe against shield grab. Damn, that was a solid first up from Jack. He just kind of bullies and boxes Kai into the corner and then, you know, Kai messes up a ledge dash, which will happen from time to time for spaces, but still good on Jack for putting him in that position in the first place. They can't mess up Blood Jash if they never get sent to the corner, you know. Right, let's see what we're getting off this. Uh, yeah, not much. I think Jack was... I think he was meaning to go for a dash check out of that down throw, but Flubs have just kind of Stands then does like a reverse F tilt, which is definitely not what you want, but it'll happen. Um, oh, big damage. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, Kai has brought this back quite a. He's down by about half stock and. Running away for it. It's. Still definitely not out of the realm of possibility for Jack to win this. He's not that far behind, and I mean, he closes up this edge guard then, which he does. Good stuff. Um, not the greatest angle by Kai. I think he could have probably gone a bit sharper. Up, he could have gone up a bit more and then just fast forward to ledge without. Ah, uh, no, that's. This is yeah. I don't think Kai is the type of person that would like, really flop that much, so I assume it is something to do with his controller. And there we go, Jack hitting those <laughs> grounded needles. Um, yeah, Jack loves to... He just charges needles in between stocks and then somehow people run into <laughs> the grounded full charger needles. And they shouldn't. It's not good, but... You know... Things happen. It's good for Jack because he gets an easy 15 ish percent. So he gets one step closer to getting Falco out of that CC range, which Sheik is definitely trying to do. Um, it's nice having more than like a 30 year toolkit. Not, you know, when like, yeah, four moves that aren't invalidated by CC or ASDI down. It's, 
you know, she's feeling good. That's another thing actually that Jack does do, that he should be doing. Which it looked like he was trying to um, this time around. So Jack needed to arms attack that first down smash. Instead he just DIs it like up or whatever and that's not what you want. And then it looked like he was trying to go for it the second time round, but he was still in the air, so when he got hit, so hopefully yeah. starts arms attacking in that spot for these Oh, I just realized what, I've definitely been slipping in terms of adding scores. This is Kai's two off. Really nice power shot. Okay. Ah, oh, doesn't get a tech chase. I'm not sure if he was like thinking of trying to tech chase Bob Air, but goes to the bear. Yeah, that'll that'll happen if you um if you DI Falco's shine just a little bit off stage. Falco still has enough time to just kind of do a full hop there and. Uh, really, like, it was a really good bear by Jack. He, I didn't think he was reacting to Kai going high, he was just, he just had the read, but gets like the weak awkward hit of back air, so just needed to be, I guess, a little bit faster. Just it was quite close. And at this point, a dash attack or an F tilt, will, unless Kai Kai the eyes are properly, will almost certainly lead into a fair. But this is spooky for Sheik, but yeah, I wonder how Sheik's gonna get out of the corner here. <laughs> Alright, Kai just awkwardly full hops above Sheik and kind of relinquishes the stage control he had, but. Really good there, but then doesn't quite get the tech chase afterwards. See, the problem is if even Jack wins, he's got to deal with two FD games, which is definitely not what Sheik wants. It's it's a rough stage, not having platforms. Rarely cripples Sheik's movement. Oh, manages to land. <laughs> manages to get a shield poke that near. Just clipping the tip of Falco's head. Jack's just, he's staying in that corner, he's putting out hitboxes and Kai's trying to land that solid hit to get Sheik off stage. Oh, it doesn't, it's like, <laughs> okay, that was, that was not very good, but, you know, things happen. He's got two more games. Well, he's got like one more game to burn until it's game five. So, you know, that was Jack's counter pick. So, right. Jack putting his hands together, praying that for no FD. Kai having a long hard think about it before realizing that coming to the conclusion that yeah, I do want to go after you. The only thing is that I have a choice. I mean he could potentially go actually well he can't go back to Dreamland. Or 
mean, I guess you could go to stadium, but oh, that's, in this case, it's probably just a worse FD <laughs> for what Kai wants to accomplish. Oh, just runs up and like he was late, but actually, I'm not sure if that was a case of um, Jack doing that run up grab and it catching the spot dodge because. Jack was intentionally doing it to like bait out like to beat the spot dodge or whether he was just that late that you know it was late enough that he managed to grab it even after the spot dodge ended. Oh that's not what you want. But yeah. He comes back invincible, just takes takes the space away from Falco. Falco jumps, Falco gets scared, Falco double jumps, and Falco realizes, oh crap, I gotta come down. How am I gonna come down? It just gets swatted away. Yes. Okay, at least he died the um at least he died the down air. Well like well enough that he didn't get um immediately down it again, but still dies. Like, one one of the big things to take away is just for Jack would be to you know, go into Uncle Punch or 20XX or whatever and just practice arms attacking. Like, specifically that down smash. Like. Because, I mean, the thing is, there's not much else you can, like, there's not much else you're really doing when you're up on stage. You've got a ton of time to just kind of, like, I mean, it, as Cheek, you're probably buffering Shield. Because if they're really late, then you'll get your Shield off. But if they're not late, you should still have a plan for if they do hit you. And you should be thinking about what their most common option will be to punish um, your RB. And in this case, it's, it's down smash in that spot. And like, if Kai goes for Shine, then it's not like that DI is... Like the guy for the um, arms attack is going to really hurt Jack in any sort of way. <laughs> Both hits to the F smash. It's one of Sheik's worse moves, but it always seems to work because people aren't expecting it. So, but yeah, you can just. Just hold down. I'm pretty sure you can show it between the first and second hits. Oh, he, Jack really needs to stop, but... He really needs that edge guard. But doesn't quite get it. This is looking pretty over. That being said, Jack is behind. Kai is a lot, but... You know. Close it out. Uh, I believe it is me and Ruben up next, so... That should be something.